Hi. First of all, I have a question for you. If you can answer me, I will be happy to read the comment. Um, there are females connected to my girlfriend. They disapprove of my video channel, right? And they don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah, they talk to my girlfriend. Why is that? Why do they do this? I would love to read comments on this. Yeah. Uh, and the Swedish feminists are awfully active these days. They are not protesting uh, child marriage or uh, young Swedish girls held hostage in their own homes by parents who refuse to have Western influence on to their daughters. The feminists don't care about this, no. They don't care about what's going on in our bathing houses, swimming houses, where young girls are afraid to go there and swim, at least alone, because they run a risk of being sexually molested by groups of young boys. No, this is a new phenomenon in Sweden, by the way. This is what's going on in our swimming houses. No, they, the feminists, are upset, offended by a boxer, a former boxer, who made a joke. Uh, his name is Paolo Roberto. He's kind of a macho guy. He, you see him on TV every now and then, and he made a joke. It, it goes something like this. Uh, the, a woman's breasts, breasts. That's the evidence that the man can keep attention on two things at the same time. That's the joke. Oh, and they attacked him. Oh my God, hard. So they wanted to shut him up. And they run this guilt thing on him. You know, you are responsible for uh, young women being raped. You know, by making this joke. <laughs> yeah. A lot of noise about this. That's their priority. Yeah. We have another example, and this hasn't yet happened. Uh, it's a woman, her name is Petra Mede. She's an actor, comedian, well known in Sweden. She recently became a mother, I think for the second time. She did an interview and she complained about the Swedish system. Uh, we have regulations in Sweden where the mother and the father share the taking care of the kid. And she said, I want to do it. It was her personal view, right? It was a biological thing, she said. And uh, this just happened. And uh, I already read three articles about it. The feminists have yet to start attacking her, but I'm sure they will. And they will run the guilt thing on her. They will tell her, oh, you are moving women's liberation back, you know, a century at least. Yeah, that's how they do it. Now, people do have different opinions, and I think that's liberating. Uh, somebody expresses an opinion that you disagree with, I mean, it still can be very interesting. And, uh, but there is some, with some people, this impulse, this urge to uh, make nothing out of this person because he or she expresses an opinion that is contrary to your own. I think that's fascinating and stupid. I prefer to have people speak. If you have a different opinion from mine, do your own fucking video. What's the problem? Or write an article. Whatever. So, um, that's what I think. Alright. Bye.